So they bought 2,000 shares at 696. Let's go to one minute candles here. Well, I think most people that follow what we teach would know right away um, what you did wrong there. I mean, it, it opened here, it started up. We never take those, right? Um, Pre-market highs were all the way at like seven, I don't know, 770-ish. So that, that wasn't meeting the one minute high break. It wasn't meeting the break of the pre-market high. It was just jumping in at the open. You got excited and you had FOMO. I mean, the, you can private message me or email me back if I'm, if I'm reading this wrong, but if you jumped in at 696, um, right at the open, less than a minute in, that didn't meet any of the parameters. That's why we have rules in place. And so then you, you hit out of it at 650. That doesn't sound right either. It never went to 650, did it? Oh, gotcha, right there. Wow. Gotcha. Um, no, don't say idiotic. Um, it's not idiotic. We, we all, we've all done it. Um, I've done it in the recent past. I've jumped in something, you know, thinking, oh, maybe this one's different, right? That's why you got to have a process. And, and I would contend that you, even though you took that nasty loss, I would contend you did the right thing selling here, right? If, if you break your rules and then it starts ripping to new lows, I mean, that's your only choice, right? I would, wouldn't most of the other moderators agree that if you bought this at 696 and then it, and then it did this, started heading down on big volume. I mean, wouldn't most of you have said, well, I screwed up and hit out of it? Right, I mean, you had to. This could have easily just kept falling. So it sucks hitting the low tick of the day and then watch it. This is why if you follow the rules on the entry, you don't get mind effed <laughs> when you sell out here and then you watch it run without you. And then, you know, then you're probably thinking, uh, you know, now it's going to eight, I'm gonna buy it here and you're gonna sell it here. You end up doing all kinds of things wrong. Um, so yeah, your sell wasn't the problem. Your buy was the problem, all right? You have to have a process. And as I teach uh, or talk about on these, that's why I go over the morning gap plays every day at lunch, right? This met none of our parameters. If anything, I've said, if they take off out of the gate, they're probably a better short, right? Now I've been talking lately about one specific scenario where I will take a break of the pre-market high in the opening minute, okay? And that's something that we're going to, uh, introduce into the next version of the course because I'm, I'm you know I'm going to put all the rules together for it but there are scenarios and I and I did it yesterday. Um, geez, I can't even remember the symbol. I think it might have been XGTI and made my daily goal in the opening minute, right, or opening two minutes. Anyway, so uh, you know it's always important to go back and say well what did i do wrong sometimes you didn't do anything wrong sometimes it's just the thing doesn't work right um but in this case to me it's very clear you you can't buy at the open worst case scenario this takes off and runs and never looks back and you didn't get in it right big deal that happens very very rarely so if you jump in it and you make a bunch of money just jumping in at the open, remember that's a coin toss, it's a coin flip. Anything can happen at the open. So if you jump in and it moves up three dollars in your favor in three minutes and you make twenty grand, you're going to give back that twenty grand in no time because you've just taught yourself jumping in at the open works, and at best it's a coin flip. All right. So have a process for your entry and you save yourself a lot of heartache. And again, I'm not lecturing, I'm just trying to help. And I, but listen, what you did there is nothing that I haven't done or anybody else in this room, by the way. All right, so, um, you know, we're here to help. And that's, you know, I'm, I'm kind of glad that you emailed me that because it's, it's extremely obvious what you did wrong now. And uh, maybe being the one talked about during the lunchtime uh, Q&A will help solidify it for you, right? I bet you tomorrow morning on a morning gap or if something opens and takes off out of the gate in the opening 10 seconds, I bet you don't buy it. 
all right so um, the money you're gonna save from 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 what you lost today there's no better teacher than pain right so the money you're gonna save from that down the road by making sure that your your process is in concrete and you follow it from now on that was just that was nothing it was like uh, paying for college tuition okay that money is well spent if you want to if you really want to um, try to find uh, the positive in that terrible trade you had today is that can be money well spent be the best money you ever lost because if that keeps you from ever doing that again you're gonna be so far ahead of the game right I, I contend that you're better off losing that money on that than if you'd have made money because you're just all you did if you made money on it, solidified a terrible habit a coin flip at the open and that's not gonna end well it never ends well so um, you know anytime in life but in trading maybe even more so than life when you take a big hit when something nasty happens to you try to flip your little brain around right and say to yourself how can I take this ugly stupid thing I did and make it the best thing that ever happened to me as far as trading right and it can be right blowing up an account can be the best thing that ever happened to you because it's basically inevitable that we're all gonna blow up an account anyway <laughs> so if, if you blow up an account for the first time and you vow to never blow up another one you'll do better than me in your career because I've blown up a few so anyway that's my little mini mini lecture um, and I'm gonna go over the morning gappers now